we're going to work on what's called the leg press position, and then we're going to work on, and that's a controlling position in, for doing for Jujigatami, or pretty much anything from, from this area here, this, this situation. And then we're going to work on levering or prying the arm free. Because Jujigatami is a great weapon, it's a great tool in your arsenal. Uh, you know, of techniques and, and you should spend a lot of time on it. Remember, if you're on the bottom, uh, he's in a good position defensively because he's, his feet are flat on the mat, his knees are up, he can shrimp into me. Just, just, he can shrimp in and start to escape. And we may get to that, but probably not tonight, we don't have time. But he's in a position he can fight back. He's not just laying there like he's dead, okay? All right, now my top position, I, I've turned him over, however I might have head rolled, jujigatami, hip roll, whatever it was, I'm on top now. Okay. Now, your, your, your foot isn't always across the, extended over the torso, but often it is. And this is a case where in a leg press position, you want your leg across his torso. Okay. So my leg closest to his legs is across over his chest area and pretty much under his armpits. area. So don't have it down here. See that space? You don't want that. I want my leg up here. Okay. Because that way I can control him better. You'll see why in a second here. Now, my other hip leg that's over his head is, I, I'm, I'm a tall guy, I can put my legs together. Some of you aren't as tall as me, so you're going to have your feet like this. But whatever it is, I want to make sure, I'm going to control his upper fourth of his body here, his upper quadrant here, by scrunching his shoulders in. I don't want him to have square shoulders. And we talked about this the other night. Some of you guys bench press a lot of weight, okay? And when you do, your shoulders are square, and you're driving, but, but your, your sh shoulders aren't like this, are they? You, you can't bench press anybody at all, okay? So I'm going to scrunch his shoulders together to take all the, the structure and strength away from him. I, I don't want his shoulders square, because if his shoulders are square, he can fight me better from here, okay? He can, he can escape better. So I don't want that to happen. So that's a big concern a lot of people don't pay attention to, but they should. So it, when you do this, when I do this with my, my foot here, this, on the bottom here, on his torso, I like to wrap it around tighter and just crunch it in. See that? Crunch it in and crunch it in, and now he's stuck. Now, if your legs aren't long like, like mine are, and they don't, they don't, you can't hook them, you can still pull them in together too. So you're controlling with your legs. That's why it's called a leg press, because I'm pressing them down with my legs, and I'm using my legs for a lot of control. So it's a really important position that we use in judo. So I've got it here, I like to hook my legs, and there we go, okay? Try his arm free. Now, what's, what he's doing, he's grabbing his arms together and getting, getting them as low as he can. So his defense against my arm lock is to suck his arms in tight and low. And I'm going to have to really work now, okay? So that makes it harder for me. If his arms are up high, and some people just grab their hands together like this, like a C grip or like this, and that's not always a strong grip because I got all this room that I can really work to pry his arm free. So he wants to keep it low. So if he's got a brain in his head and knows how to fight on the ground, he's going to stay fairly low. Okay, so I've got like this. But to counter that, look how he's squished his arms together. Now his arms pop up. Okay? Now, my hand closest to his feet. Okay, now I'm going to start prying his arm free, levering his arm free. Okay, this hand here, I'm going to reach under and grab really close, and I'm going to grab my thigh. Can everybody see this? I'm grabbing my thigh. Really up here, almost to your hip. Okay, now I'm sucking in tight. Now, I pretty much own his upper arm. His whole upper arm is sucked on my, my gut here. Okay, now, come on, just so you can see it. I just want to be able to see it. Put your hands together. So can you see? Like this. See that? Okay, all right, good. All right, now he's here. Now with my other hand, the hand that's closest to the head, I'm going to do like a, a boxer's uppercut like this. I'm going to hook up here. But I'm not going to hook real close to here. I'm going to hook way out here by his wrist. Because this one's going to be real tight in here. This one's going to be working here. See that? And see how I turn my hand this way. Okay, so suck it in tight here. Grab your thigh. You trap him with your thigh. Trap your hand on your thigh. It's a thigh trap. That's what we call it. And uppercut like this. See this? And then when I do this, I swing my arm under and pull my hand this way. Not like this. Make a fist and hook like this. Now see how it's real compact and everything? Now when I roll to my left side, 
I'm going to roll to my left side on purpose because I want to make it very uncomfortable for his shoulder and arm. If I pull straight back, where is this? If I pull straight back, it's kind of hard. But if I pull this way, look, I can start to lever it free and get it. Okay? So, hook him, hook him. Trap, thigh trap. Got that? You own him there. Okay? Uppercut here. Now, when I do this, again, think about the bench press. If his shoulders are square, he can bench press straight up. But if he's got one shoulder like this, he it's weak. I'm pulling it back to his weak side. See, it's weak in this direction, about a 45 degree angle. So here, here, here. Now when I do this, remember this palm, that's the direction it goes. It goes here, I roll to the side. I was going to have to go fast, sorry about that. Okay. 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 Now, when you do, just close your arms together and keep them hooked to you. Okay? Does that make sense to everybody? That's called the leg press position into the thigh trap, or thigh grab, thigh trap, and uppercut level. So here it is, like this, like this, trap it, and finish. Okay? All right.